Yo, what's up everybody, this is TJ Customs, and today I'm going to be bringing you my Marvel Legends review of Marvel Legends Series 5 Silver Surfer. Uh, this figure is really, really cool. Um, I'm really digging it. Now, I've had it before in the past. I remember when I was little, I used to play with it all the time, and it actually broke a couple of times. I remember, I think it was like its leg that broke off like 8,000 times. But it's cool to have this figure again. Now, unfortunately, because I bought this figure loose, and I, if you see my vlog, which you will see it eventually, um, you'll see how I got this figure. And um, I bought the figure loose, so he didn't come with his lunar base that came with the board that you could set him on, so he would be off the ground. But um, I'm going to figure something out so that <laughs> I can get him flying, you know, of course. But... Really cool. Obviously, the standout thing of this guy is the magnetic board that he has. Um, so, if we're going to look at the board, they're really cool. It's painted with a nice metallic silver. Looking good. Of course, this is a flat gray, though. It's kind of odd that this is gray and then this is like a silvery color. It's a little weird looking, but hey. And then this middle part, you can very well distinguish the fact that this middle part is... Uh, the magnet, uh, you can tell very easily because it's a different color completely, but hey, it's not that big a deal. Um, to me, this doesn't really look like a surfboard, though. I think it's, I think if this was to be more of a surfboard, it should be a little bit more narrow. Um, it's pretty close, though. I mean, oh, Jesus. It's getting narrower, if you can tell. it's getting It does get narrower, but I think it should be a bit more narrow because it kind of looks like a rectangle to me, but that's just my opinion. Of course, obviously the figure, if my camera could focus, all of a sudden it's like not focusing, what's going on? Okay, uh... Okay, so obviously at the bottom of the feet, this figure has uh, magnets there, and they obviously attach to the board just like so. So that is pretty neat. Um, it's a really cool feature, and it attaches really well, like it's not coming off, but yeah. So he's got those, but more of the figure. This is a very commonly used body mold for Toy Biz, I would say. It's a pretty damn commonly used, if I could get him to stand up. Um, very, very common. I would say, you know, if I could give an example of a figure that used this body mold, uh, is the Series 6 Deadpool. Here he is standing up next to the Series 6 Deadpool. Obviously my Series 6 Deadpool is in pretty bad shape, but you can tell that they're the exact same body. If I can show you here, you can just look at them and see that they're the exact same body mold. So there has been, it has been used a couple times. Actually from Series 5 to Series 6 it was used, so that's pretty nuts. But yeah, there's that. This figure is obviously in bad shape, but... Yeah, I just wanted to show that. And also, a figure that I can think of was actually in the exact same wave. Um, the Mr. Fantastic figure, I'm almost 100% positive, used the exact same body too. But, yeah, so basically this is a very commonly used body mold by Toy Biz. It's a really good body mold, though, um, I think. And uh, I think it's extremely good. It's a very plain body mold, but it works wonders. It's got a lot of definition sculpted in uh, for the abs and all his muscularity which looks really really good and then um it, i just think it looks amazing uh it, just look at that look at the tricep there it's really got a lot of sculpt going for it mine on his back has a couple paint chips but nothing too big to worry about um so yeah pretty freaking cool obviously the main thing because this is has the nothing really big sculpted on it um the main thing the main selling point for this figure is the obvious paint detailing i mean just look at it it's a metallic silver which is perfect but it's got this nice blue blended in throughout i can't tell if it was if it was blue and then dry brush silver if it was like a wash that the blue is it's just really it's heavy and it's tinted and it blends in really good I mean, now, if you can see this right here that's blue, I mean, it, you can see it from far away, too, but it just blends in really well, and it looks beautiful. I, w I wouldn't change that at all, because a flat silver, a.k.a. Hasbro's silver surfer that they came out with, um, a flat silver does not look that good, but having this blue color to it just makes it look fantastic. Just awesome. I know I'm praising this figure a lot, and there's really not that much going for it other than that, but, I mean, it's really cool. Now, I'm not going to say that I don't like the head sculpt, because I actually really think it's well done, but I'm not sure 
I mean, I think it looks like Silver Surfer, yeah, but I, I don't know. I think it kind of reminds me of Jack Kirby's artwork. I don't know why. It just kind of has that feel to it to me. So that might be what this is off of. I don't remember if he did. I'm pretty sure Jack Kirby did the Fantastic Four. So um, it might be off of that because I know Silver Surfer appeared in the Fantastic Four a couple times. So his it, it might be off the Jack Kirby artwork. I don't know, but he looks kind of like an alien to me. I mean, I don't know if I can shoot up a picture of an alien and then show you what I mean, but he kind of looks like an alien to me. I don't know. But I really like the head sculpt. It's just it's just a little bit weird. It, I'm not going to complain, though. I mean, I think it looks good. So, yeah. Um, we're going to talk about articulation. He's got really good articulation. I mean, his plain body is really good. Uh, so we'll talk about his head goes up that far. If you can tell, his, his head is rounded, so it's going to get a lot of range of motion just because of the way that the jaw is sculpted. So that's really good. It can obviously go 360. Uh, his arms, he's got these ball joints that make his arm that can go up that far, but then he's got this extra one that makes his arm go up even further, which is awesome. Uh, he's got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. He's got this cut joint at his wrist, which spins there. He's got a hinge here at his wrist also. And then he's got the uh, clamp of his fingers. And this is not his wrist. This is like his forearm, a cut at his forearm. I'm stupid. Uh, then he's got an ab crunch, which on mine is extremely stiff, but it can go down about that far. And then it goes back about that far. So very stiff ab crunch. It's probably going to chip away the paint. So um, there is a waist swivel there, but mine is like locked in place and I don't want to break it. So I'm not going to move it. Um, but there is a waist swivel there on everybody else's. Mine's just really, really stiff. So I'm not going to lock. I'm not going to move it. Uh, just cause I'm afraid of breaking it because I actually in the same lot I broke the ghost rider that I got so I'm not I'm not gonna move it uh, His legs a bit loose on mine, but he's got ball jointed legs which make it go up about that far and then it can kick back Not really that far uh, He's got the swivel here. It can also go in and out uh, He's got double jointed knees, which is a must-have. He's got a cut at the calf And then he's got no ankle pivot which I know Sharder's Prime is really pissed about. <laughs> um, but he does have a hinge that's loose on mine, as you can see. And he has a toe joint. So, pretty good range of articulation. You can bend that toe joint down, too. But, really good range of articulation. But, I, I don't know. I think he's a little bit... Uh, I think there are my share, fair share of problems with it um, that aren't really related to the actual, like... They're more or less my figure, not really anybody else's. But the face sculpt, I'm not going to say is a true complaint because it looks really good. But I, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't know why. I'm just not the biggest fan of that head sculpt. Um, but that's really my only complaint for the figure. I think he's incredible. Really well done um, in every way. I don't think they could have done this any better. I mean, the board, everything it looks fantastic. So really, really stoked about this figure. Um, so yeah, and I mean, I can't, I'm not going to do a size comparison because I already compared him to Deadpool over there. So um, if you guys like this video and want to check out more of my videos, please make sure you subscribe and you can rate and comment. On, ooh, geez. Uh, you can rate and comment on this video if you liked it, and please check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm more active on Instagram if you want to check that one out the most, but yeah, uh, I'll put the links in the description below, and uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Thanks for tuning into this review. Peace.